All right, so we have line 17, self-employed health insurance deduction. First thing to note here is it says self-employed. So as we have seen in the past, oftentimes if you're going from tax preparation for an employee, which will typically be driven by W-2s, and then going to self-employed or some kind of business income, typically a Schedule C or possibly some other entity like pass-through entities, S-corporations, partnerships, LLCs, or, or a C corporation, that's going to increase the complexity of the return, making it a requirement to have at least some bookkeeping skills typically, because there will often be uh, adjustments in that way. And then there's also often increases in the complexity of the return, as well as possible opportunities for tax planning. So as a tax preparer, the question is, do you want to be taking on more complex returns where you have Schedule C and self-employment business, which typically means you're going to be doing more complex returns, possibly more bookkeeping, and possibly able to charge more per return? Or are you specializing in fewer returns, making less profit margin, but be able to crank out more returns? First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us but but that's okay whatever because our merchandise is is better than their stupid stuff anyways like this cpa thinking cap for example cpa thinking cap you see what we did with like with the letters and this cpa thinking cap is not just for cpas either anyone can and should have at least one possibly multiple cpa thinking caps why because based on our scientific survey of five people, all of whom directly profit from the sale of these CPA thinking caps, wearing this CPA thinking cap without a doubt, according to the survey, increases accounting productivity tenfold. Yeah, at least. Yeah, apparently the hat actually channels like accounting energy from the quantum field ether directly into your head allowing you to navigate spreadsheets faster. It's kind of like how in like the matrix when Neo learns Kung Fu, or at least that's what the scientific survey saying. So get one because the scientific survey participants could really use some extra cash. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Now also note that if someone is a W-2 employee, that they could also have a Schedule C business on the side and possibly still have access to some benefits from a W-2 employee situation, which might be a little bit easier because they might not have a whole lot or a very complex bookkeeping situation because they have a fairly basic business and their main income is coming from the W-2 employee wages. If, however, their entire income is coming from a business, then, then it's likely that you're gonna have more of these kind of planning type things that are gonna come up. One of them possibly being the employed health insurance, the, the self-employed health insurance deduction because uh, it's historically been the case that health insurance has kind of been tied in with the employer. It used to be the case that many people actually worked for the same company their entire lives right and then and then it was not it was uh routine typically to have the health insurance tied to the company in part because the insurance premiums for a grouped plan uh sometimes could be cheaper than if you bought the health insurance yourself so just for that reason itself there could be uh, a link be from the employer that could provide a benefit uh, to the employees but these days People are switching jobs a lot more routinely and uh, a lot of people might have work on the side or might be self-employed in some way. If you're self-employed, then the question is, well, do I get a benefit for my self-employed health insurance? Because when it was linked to an employer situation, if it was an employee employer situation, there could be some link between that. So that historical link has kind of leaked over once again to the self-employment situation where the IRS is trying to mirror a similar kind of structure on a self-employed 
individual. Okay, so you may be able to deduct the amount you paid for health insurance for yourself, your spouse, and your dependents. The insurance can also cover your child who was under age 27 at the end of 2023, even if the child wasn't your dependent. So how would you deduct this? Well, it would be dependent upon you being the self-insured 